and we thank the artist who is with us who created this formation. Thank you very much for this piece of work. It says more eloquently in statue form what most of us can say. As I said, I'm John MacDonald, I'm a Labour MP, but I'm the secretary of the National Union of Journalists Parliamentary Group. So our job is to speak up for journalists in Parliament. And we speak up for journalists who've been abused, imprisoned, and sometimes who've lost their lives performing their role in democratic and undemocratic societies, which is to expose the truth and to hold politicians to account for their decisions. Julian Assange is a journalist. He, he undertook, yes, a perilous mission, but it was a mission that had to happen, which was to expose the truth about the war crimes that were taking place, often in our name, in Iraq and elsewhere. And for standing up for the truth, for exposing the truth, as any true journalist would, he's been in prison year after year. Only a couple of miles away from us in Belmarsh now, he's the longest serving political prisoner that there is in this country. We now know more about the role of the state in this country too, thanks to the work of another journalist called Stefania Massimi. She has been absolutely dogged of the last eight years in pursuing the truth about how Julian was treated in this country. And in particular, the role of the Crown Prosecution Service. We now know more as a result of those Freedom of Information requests about how much collusion there was between the Crown Prosecution Service here and the Swedish authorities to secure Julian's extradition to America. And we know the risk to his life if he's extradited. We'll continue to expose that. But I believe it brings shame upon this country for the role it has played in the persecution of a journalist who simply wanted to do what journalists should do, is report the truth. That's why in this coming few, this coming period now, exactly as John Rees has said, this is absolutely critical now. We do all that we can to prevent the extradition. But I think more importantly, we demand the freedom of Julian Assange. He should be home with his family. <laughs> Julian Assange's imprisonment and persecution brings eternal shame on this country. And we need to continue to expose it and stand in solidarity. So I, I think all of us here today, let's recommit ourselves to this campaign. Freedom for Julian Assange, protection of journalists, and yes, all those who speak the truth. Solidarity. Thanks so much, John. We're very grateful for your support.